After starting her career at a very young age, actress Nicole Huff is making her theatrical debut in the new Netflix movie Luckiest Girl Alive. She is here now to tell us about this latest role. Nicole, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for having me. Well, congrats on this. This is in the top 10 on Netflix. Everybody is loving it. How does it feel? It's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's its second week uh, being number one so in the world, so it's just such an honor to be a part of it. I'm so grateful, and it's been very exciting. It's my first big film, uh, uh, playing the role of Olivia Kaplan, and uh, she's a character from the book, and it feels great. It feels uh, very exciting for me. Yeah, okay, so how much pressure was it then to be part of this movie that is such a popular book? Yeah, I mean, I I tried not to focus on the the pressure. I I I knew it was a very popular book after reading the script and and uh, purchasing the novel and then reading the novel to prepare for the project. But I tried not to put that pressure on myself and just make sure that uh, I knew I knew about the story of Ani and I knew um, my character Olivia and and what my character brought in telling that that coming of age story for Ani and I just focused on the story and making sure I was in character and knew everything that I could and put the work that I, I could into knowing uh, to, to, to be able to portray this character and your characters kind of kind of a mean girl I think that's fair to say and you seem just so lovely how hard was that to sort of tap into that sort of mean part of yourself yeah, I mean, I tried to look, I knew that after reading the script, I knew that the meaner this character was, the more it would contribute to how difficult her childhood trauma would be, Ani's childhood trauma. I just, I, I looked at it as fun and getting to getting to play and bring out a part of myself that I don't usually bring out. Uh, but it was, it was a lot of fun and I got to experiment on set. And a lot of the time I, I, stayed in, in, in my zone to be able to portray this character, especially throughout the intense scenes. Sure, yeah. Well, that does sound pretty fun. I guess that would be actually really fun. So now, you mentioned that this is your first theatrical debut, but you've been doing this for quite a long time, since you were six years old. I have, yeah. I started off doing a lot of television commercials. I did over 35 uh, television commercials and doing a lot. I was always in the arts and entertainment industry. I My parents enrolled me in lots of activities growing up, like dance, like there many different styles of dance, singing, piano, karate, uh, violin, piano, karate. Oh, I said that already. <laughs> Swimming, <laughs> everything you can kind of think of, soccer. And I just really gravitated towards acting, singing, and dancing. And uh, I, I portrayed a role when I was four, uh, when I was 15 or 16 uh, for Degrassi, and ever since then I knew that I wanted to take this this industry seriously as an actor. Yeah, and I'm also working on my music as well. So singing and dancing are also a passion of mine. But I definitely am very passionate about this industry and hope to continue to portray very interesting characters and be a part of very interesting stories. A triple threat. Well, you are certainly on your way. It is just wonderful to meet you. Congrats on this, and best of luck. Thank you so much for having me.